This is your 3-minute radiation fallout forecast, sun flare update, and nuke report for Thursday, July 19, 2012. Sunspot Complex 1520 erupted again on July 19, this time producing an M7 Plus class solar flare that almost crossed the threshold into X territory. The explosion produced a bright coronal mass ejection, and although it occurred on the western limb, our planet will feel some of its effects. The blast site is magnetically connected to Earth by a backward spiraling line of magnetic force. In Canada, the areas of highest concern for the next 24 hours are Vancouver Island, Quebec City, St. John's, and the southernmost area of Ontario from the Detroit-Windsor border up through Toronto in the U.S. The areas of highest concern are Northern California, Michigan, Ohio, Pennsylvania, and the state of New York. In Europe, the following countries have all precipitating factors, UK, Belgium, the Netherlands, Northern Germany, and Northern Poland. Nuke Report At the Uranium Enrichment Facility in Bethesda, Maryland, an unauthorized individual gained access to the facility. They have been removed. At the Callaway Nuclear Power Plant in Missouri, the Tech Support Center has been declared non-functional due to computer and or electrical problems. Efforts are underway to fix it. At Nine Mile Point in New York, there was a third event listed in the past week. There was an automatic reactor scram due to a high neutron flux event at Limerick in Pennsylvania. It was being reported as an explosion at first and subsequently an electrical disturbance that caused a loss of cooling. It is still listed as an unusual event on the NRC list. At Calvert Cliffs, Maryland, there was a leak in the instrumentation line. At Oconee, South Carolina, there was an emergency shutdown yesterday, but the NRC event notification list has not stated a reason. At Quad Cities in Illinois, there was an emergency control room ventilation problem. Although Obama declared that no harmful levels of radiation would reach our shores from Fukushima, we do agree with one statement that he made, and that is to stay informed. Listen to Nuked Radio on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 12 to 1 Eastern Standard Time, where we discuss all things nuclear and its effects on our health and future. This message has been brought to you by Radchik and the Orion Talk Radio Network. We care about you because your government doesn't. Stay safe.